hi everyone this is the next protocol we are going to discuss is go back and repeat request or simply go back and ARQ okay yeah ARQ automatic repeat request in so this is the second protocol in noisy channels as we have seen in the previous one that we have to wait for the acknowledgement to arrive before sending the next frame so it was very less efficient so to improve efficiency we will be sending frame before we receive their acknowledgement so there are few things to look in this the first one being sequence numbers as I said before in the previous video our of that we need to number the frame so if the header allows m bits then we can number them to 0 to 2 raised to m minus 1 like say for m equal to 4 the numbers will be 0 to 15 the most important concept in this is of sliding window there will be two sliding windows one at the receiver which is always of size 1 and the other at the sender which will be of size less than 2 raised to m ok so let's say these are our frames okay. and this is our window ok our window covers this much 2 raised to m minus 1 ok less than 2 raised to m so let's say 2 raised to m minus 1 or less we can take so this window divides the frame into the sequence of frame into four regions this is the first region these frames are already sent and have been acknowledged so no copies of this are with the sender anymore so we don't have to worry about these ones the second region is this within the sliding window these are the frame these are the frames that have been sent but not acknowledged yet and the third region is this one that is the frame that will be sent next next frame to be sent and this is the fourth region this frame won't be sent until this sliding window moves here okay the sliding window can move one or two frames it depends on your implement so so how this protocol works is that there is also a concept of cumulative acknowledgement as we we can just send one acknowledgement for more than one frames let's say this is the sender and receiver as usual this is our time so we send frame 0 and our acknowledgement is lost 
but before we received this we have sent this frame 1 so we get acknowledgement 2 and this alone will signify that it has received both of the frames so the stop and wait ARQ is actually this go back and ARQ with n equal to 1 that is the window size was 1 in stop and wait ARQ so this is just the expanded version of that now to show the actual working so what happens in this protocol a frame is sent ok and a frame is sent if it received by the receiver then we get the acknowledgement back but in the meanwhile before we received this acknowledgement we have sent another frame slots of frame we have sent and the other situation is when we send a frame and it gets lost then we send another one another one and then we receive so what the receiver does is as we have sent the frame one and it got lost so what it will do it will ignore the other frames as it receives so the timer of this will expire then we will resend the frame what was that frame 1 and we will go on again with sending frame 2 frame 3 then we can get the acknowledgement of say 1 so this will be parallelly going on this frame this acknowledgement this frame this acknowledgement or there can be a cumulative acknowledgement as I said before if some acknowledgement is lost in between okay so that's why this protocol is called go back and ARQ because it has to go back to the frame the first frame that it lost so this is called go back and ARQ let's see a few cases with flow diagram the easiest part and the easiest way to explain any protocol so first I will explain that the window size should be less than 2 raised to m and you will also see the process of how this window works say this is our wind this is our frames 0 1 2 3 and this is our window size okay these are the frames required and this is the window size of receiver the window size of receiver is always 1 and this is the sender window so first we send the frame 0 and the, we can say if the acknowledgement is lost the receiver was pointing at this but still it received the frame 0 but the acknowledgement got lost we don't care about it we just go on sending the next frame frame 1 so it pointed to this and it received but say this acknowledgement is also lost 
then we again then we send frame to it was pointing at 2 it received 2 and again this acknowledgement was lost okay all the three were lost so what happens now as this was our window size the timer of this 0 expires and the receiver is now pointing at 3 that is it wants the frame with number 3 but as the timer expires of 0 as we have not received its acknowledgement the frame 0 is recent so the what will the receiver will do as it was expecting frame 3 but it received frame 0 so it will discard it so this is what we call correctly discarded and it was due to that our window was window size was less than less than 2 raised to m okay so let's consider the case when it is not say this is our frames 0 1 2 3 0 for m equals to 2 and this is our receiver side 0 1 2 3 0 and this is our window which is of size 4 for m equal to 2 it should have been less than 2 raised to m but still we are considering it so let's say this was our window size sn so it sends frame 0 and as in the previous one the acknowledgement gets lost it sends frame 1 it receives 1 acknowledgement again, again gets lost it sends frame 2 acknowledgement is lost again then it sends frame 3 it receives 3 acknowledgement again lost so by this time as we have covered the window our timer of 0 will expire timer expires so what so this is the problem that will arise when our window size is not less than 2m is that now the receiver will be pointing at 0 of the next sequence of frames so but as the timer of our frame this 0 will expire so we will resend this frame 0 but what happens is that it will the receiver will accept instead of discarding it because it thinks that this is the 0 of the next, sequ next sequence but it was of the previous one so receiver accepts this is an error so that's why our window size should be less than okay one more example I can show is that in this one our acknowledgements were lost but let's say we send frame 0 and it gets lost so when the frame gets lost and as the receiver must have been pointing at frame 0 and if it doesn't receive it and we have already sent the next one so it will discard 
we again send frame the next one frame 2 it will discard it also and when our timer expires and we send frame 0 again ok so it's pointing at 0 it will accept and then our working will go on ok so this is all to it in stop and go back and ARQ and the next one we will we will see is the selective repeat automatic repeat request okay see you next time